hello guys welcome back to another android retrofit tutorial today we are going to learn about how to perform image upload into web server using retrofit so in the first video we are going to prepare the database tables and needed php scripts in server side so here in this tutorial we are going to working with a vamp server application so first here I'm going to prepare the database for the application. So go to the home page of VAMP server. Go to PHP my admin. Now here I'm going to create a new database. Specify the database name. Here I specify the database name as image DB and create that database. Now here you need to create a table inside that new database. Here I create a table called image info. We need three column for the table and create it. Now specify the column names. First one is ID. Uh, second one is title. And final one is path. Now specify the data types. ID is integer. Title is worker. And path is also worker. Now specify the size of each of these type. For title we need 50. For path we need 150. Now here we need ID as primary key and it is auto, auto increment also. So specify this one. Here ID is primary key. Now create the table. Now here the table is created. The table contains three columns, ID, title and path. Here ID is primary key. So now we prepare the database and table for the application. Now we need to add some PHP scripts inside the web server. So go to the installation folder of WAM server. Here it is. Go to the root directory. So inside the root directory of ARM server, here I am going to create a new folder. I name it as image upload. In that folder, here I am going to create another folder called uploads. We are going to place all the images inside this uploads folder. Now we can create the PHP scripts. So you can type the PHP scripts in any favorite text editor. Here I am going to use notepad++ for PHP script writing. First change language into PHP. Now save it. Save it inside the root directory of ARM server. Inside root directory we create a new folder called image upload and specify the file name here I name it as init.php so here the purpose of this PHP script is to establish a connection to the database so now we can write the PHP script first here I am going to create some variables specify the MySQL username Now specify the password. Now specify the database name. Here our database name is ImageDB. Now specify the host name. Here the host is localhost. Now we need to establish a connection to the database. So we can call a MySQLi function called MySQLi connect. Now we need to pass some parameter. First parameter is the username, sorry host name. Second parameter is the username. Third parameter is the user password. And final parameter is the database name. Here it is db name. 
so this statement establish a connection to the database now here I'm going to save the connection to a variable called a CON so now we can test it so here add some if loop if connection success print a message here connection success else connection failed and now we can test it so save it now we can test the php script so go to localhost inside localhost we place a folder called image upload in that folder we have a file called init.php so here the php script shows the connection is success so now we successfully connected to the database so now we need to create a php script to perform image upload so here the connection is success so there is no need of this if else so in this php script we establish a connection to the database and save the connection to a variable called a CON.